Hey everybody. All right, so today we are gonna be doing the new CADS brush. This is that pink metallic one I was telling you about. Uh, I have the other Gift Not brush coming. Um, it should be here tomorrow, so I will try to get that up quickly. Um, I am going to be giving you an update on the McCart drill when I post the cordless drill review early next week. Um, also, my nails have healed up enough that I'm ready to put them back on. Um, I want to do a Valentine's Day set, but I got like writer's blocks, so give me some ideas, guys. Uh, I'm going to let you guys pick, so just, uh, yeah, give me some ideas. I'm, I'm completely blocked up. I have no idea what I want to do. I have all my Valentine's Day stuff, but I got nothing. Um, also, uh, I still haven't heard from Carla Eagle, the winner of the Atino drill. Um, however, I know she tends to miss the giveaway, so I'm going to give her a week to contact me, and then I will pick somebody else if I haven't heard from her by then. So, um, yeah. Anyway, we are going to get started with this one today. Um, I just... Normally, I don't dig metal handle brushes very much. Um, not my favorite. I do like the rose gold, though. It reminds me a lot of that My Fit Life brush. Very much. And it's got the whistle top on this one, too. It's got a pretty decent size to it. I'm going to include the link for it. So, first impressions, right? Love the color. Super light. Um got those wild hairs that CADS is kind of known for, so it would need train. This is a size 8, which, I mean, it's not an awful size 8. Let me see if I have another. I don't think I have a size 8 over here. I do not. Okay, well, here's a size 10. So while it's shorter, like, it's got, it's, it's about true to size for a size 8, so not complaining about the size at all. Let's see. So, just first impressions, those wild hairs make me think this is mostly sable um, because it didn't have a ton of starch in it this time either, but uh, nylon doesn't curl like, you know, get all wild that way. Doesn't have bed head. Nylon's pretty, pretty straight and smooth and, you know, so if there is some, it's not a lot. It has that feel, but... I'm going to clean the alcohol out and we are going to test this bad boy out. So I'm putting alcohol on to break up, clean out the starch. Like I said, there's not a ton, so until it's not slimy. So we're going to test it out, see how big the beads it picks up are, um, see how easy it is to clean, yada yada, you guys know the drill. I haven't done a brush review in so long. It's been a while. It's nice to be back. It's nice to be back at I guess it's not work. It's true what they say. If you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life, right? Okay, so wet, yeah, it's pretty small, but those hairs did clean up super nice. Like, they got their got their crap together. It is pinched, but typically when I buy these brushes, if I can, I go with the size 8 because that's what most people start out with. Mm, I would say go with the 10 because even if you're a beginner, you're going to outgrow this pretty quickly. We got it wet. Let's get a little closer here. And we know what you can just immediately tell when it's nylon. Here, let me uh, let me show you a nylon brush. You know, we like to compare, visual comparisons so we can see the difference. So this is what nylon looks like wet. It gets very dark all the way through. And you see that like shine right there, that slickness. So. I mean, sable will have some slickness, but it shouldn't be plastic looking like that. So you see how it, it doesn't really have that, and you have the different colors in there. The colors are key. Um, it should gradually change from light to dark, like a darker brown. And we do have that color variation, just like all... Here, let's look at the other brushes. We have the same kind of... Uh, same kind of gradual darkening, so... That bodes very well for it. So this week we're going to be doing the Valentine's Day set. Uh, I am going to, you know, the one that I'll need your help for. Um, I'm going to be doing the cordless drill review, the budget cordless drill review. What else? We have the gift knot brush. We're going to be doing that too. And I'm finally going to get around to starting my marble nails. Since it's Valentine's Day, most of them are red, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. First we're going to do on the underside, see how big the beads are that it picks up. And then we're going to go on top. 
to see how smooth it lays. Let's see. So not huge, but bigger than I expected out of the size. So that's, that's good. And I think this one, CADS has raised their prices recently. Um, I'm sure some of you have noticed, not like anything horrific. I think this one was, I wanna say 15. Yeah, 15, I think. I will double check that, but I'm pretty sure it was 15. So, which is still really good for a brush that is mostly sable, because you'll pay that for straight nylon with a lot of the Amazon companies. Now, if you don't have Amazon where you are, you can also get these on AliExpress, um, Alibaba, those kind of um, those kind of sites if you're in, you know, Canada, Australia. We're gonna play with it a little bit and then we're gonna check out and see how how it looks, how hard it is to clean, if it held a ton of monomer or a whole but held a ton of acrylic in the bristles and whatnot. So with the size eight, it took about four beads to cover the entire inside of the swatch stick, which is not bad, not bad at all. And that's all the way up to the edge. So that's a lot of acrylic for a size eight. So it is, you know, it's letting go of monomer and picking up a good size. I would still say go with a size 10 though, just because um, almost, oh, we all outgrow the size eights pretty fast. Well, I guess not if you do short nails, but if you're planning on doing long ones, I would go with a 10. I can't see the size difference being that much that it would really hinder you, I guess. Okay, so now we are gonna work on top. Um, you wanna make sure, you wanna do on top of the swatch stick because you wanna make sure it has a smooth application. Um, if there's acrylic sticking in it, we won't get a very smooth application because it'll keep grabbing the top and it just won't lay as smooth. The beads won't lay as well. So that's why we do on top. Um, before I start doing that, though, um, I want to put a little monomer on, uh, on the handle and see how the paint holds up. Because the first thing I do with my brushes is ruin the paint on. So we're just going to rub that in real good and see if the paint comes off. Okay, now, I do love that color. This feels like the head of the brush it feels almost exactly like the black brush, their black metallic brush. Um, it feels a lot like it. Okay, so far so good. Now, I'm probably always going to be partial to um, their wooden handle, all wooden handle brushes, really. I just like wooden handle brushes, even though I ruin them immediately. I'm looking forward to Valentine's Day, so I need a extra, super extra set, because that's um, two days before my birthday, too. So, you know, they gotta be Valentine's slash birthday nails, so. I think maybe that's why I have block. Too much pressure. So, so I will be giving away next week another one of, I'll be giving away one of the um, cordless drills from Amazon, the one I'll be reviewing. We're going to check it out, and if it's decent, we're going to give it away, and if not, we'll give away a different one. I don't care. Um, and then the week after, we are going to be giving away an acrylic brush. I'm thinking Panna. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think Panna. Um Hannah or mm, Kiara Sky, I think one of those, because I still swear by my Panna, like even after two years. It's finally starting to go, but two years of me just doing horrible things to it. So as far as the McCart drill, I'm just beating the crap out of it so that I can give you guys a honest update. <laughs> All right, so, so far so good. Um, we're going to check it, see if it's, uh, if it's, you know, Clean or full of acrylic. I'm gonna give it, you know, a typical cleaning. Okay. All right, so I am 
just giving it a normal clean, dipping it in the monomer, and then wiping it on the paper towel, and we're going to get all up in its business. Also, nothing on the handle. Monomer didn't affect it at all. So, sweet. It's not a lot. Definitely some. And we have a little bit of acrylic, but not much at all. So, let's uh, do the fingernail test. Not much. I mean, a little bit here and there, but not a lot. Not bad at all. Yeah, definitely worth 15 bucks. I'll give it that. And it shapes back up really nice almost immediately, so that's awesome. Okay, so I will include the link down below for anybody who is interested. Um, next week we'll be doing the drill give the other drill giveaway. Um, we will be doing, I'm going to hopefully start my Marvel set, and we're going to be doing the Gift Knot brush and some Valentine's Day sets. So don't forget to leave your ideas and comments for me. Um, help me out because I'm stuck. Uh, but as always, thanks so much for watching.